Alright, hello guys and welcome to the latest productions tutorial on how to build a yacht in Sims in the Sims 3 Island Paradise. So a lot of people have been asking me like how to build a yacht and like they're like we see houseboats but that doesn't really look like an actual boat so I'm going to show you how to build an actual realistic looking houseboat. So now we're in create a world or create town, edit town, there we go, edit town. And um, so what you do to get a houseboat, you go and look for like a port and because you know boats, you can't have a houseboat on land. So you need a boat, I mean a port, and you click on the port and then see what size port you want you're like that's nice it's fine so then you go over and to this option right here and it says set houseboat so you click on that one and then it says select houseboat so for the regular houseboats that still look like you know the regular house base type and everything you have the large small medium large and narrow so for it to actually look like you're on an actual boat you need to go for the curved bow and go for the curved bow um, wide. So you click that, you click that, and then it sits there and it loads for you. And yep, and then there you go. So then you click on it and you choose to edit the boat and say it's residential and it's a regular lot or apartment lot. You can have apartment boat if you want. So. We're just going to go on in and edit this thing right on now. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. So you're going to build by and you edit your yacht. Okay, so once you have your boat looking thing, you can see that it actually looks like an actual boat at the base, and then you have your place or the little dock where your sims will walk down and into and onto your boat. Now, then you have your steering direction thing that you use, your steering wheel, to guide your boat, and then you have your trash can, and then you have your mailbox. So, for it to actually look like a yacht, um, like this, the steering wheel can be moved anywhere. So, for you to actually have look like a yeah, little yacht, this is what you should do. You should grab this and, you know, to give it like a little style to it. So, push it all the way there because you can't build on this part right here. The white part, you can't build on that. So, pull this all the way and then, like, you know, put a little design in it. So, you just click that to there and then maybe have it like start right there. And then do the same thing on this side. And yeah, so you just draw a line all the way across the boat to give it like a full, um, doing come on. Thing. Come on. Okay, so yes, you just do that. So the next part you're going to want to do is add the box. Make a box type room type thing. So this is going to act as the back of the yacht because you know you want like a little house thing. So you know how you can see your sims at all different angles. You know how the thing is, how the sims get when you don't have like your right angles and then you will be able to see your sims properly. So anyway, so like basically just have fun. This is what I'm doing. Have fun with your yacht. Um I customize it, add a little dent into it, you know, give it like a little exotic geometric look, you know, to it like a little end a little curve, not the same little box shape, you know. Just have fun with it. So um now, you know, to add some, you know, archways and um, Oh, yeah, glass. So, you put, the boat. put some glass ones on there, put some archways in there. So, you know, so it can look really, really nice. Um, now I'm going to add columns because you need columns because it makes it look like, whoa, that's too big. Let me see. Uh, yeah, those are here. 
this one's good. Okay, so you want know, combs because it's going to support your um, upper balcony. Make sure the combs are on the same level so they can properly upper, up, um, hold your upper balcony and um, give it that nice, fresh, you know, nice look. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to need to move these back a little bit. Okay, so now that I'm seeing one, I'm spinning forward a little bit. You see how I do the kitchen here? Um, give it a little bar look and put the trash can over there. Now, don't forget to have your um, fire alarm because, you know, just because it's a boat, you still can have fires on your boat. Um, so, moving towards the other front side of the boat, um, you know, add a little customization to that too. You know, it's still not giving it to a little box look. Make it look you know, fancy and nice. So, I'm going to customize, pretty much do what I did to the back. Um, just give it like a little in depth dent, kind of like a little new type of thing, trying to have a little fun with it. Um, so give it a little, and so much Sims can have like a little patio to walk out of and to the front of the boat. Um, now that it needs to be back because that's not much of a patio, is it? Not? Hmm. Um, let me see. Okay, so I just like smooth back, so just like, I just edit that out. And, um, yeah. So, okay, so I just move it back and just make sure everything looks nice. Yeah, it's a little depthness to it, and just make sure it's right on the same side. Just back it up a little bit. And back this one up too. Alright. So you just can go like that and go like that. And that looks nice. And make sure that the both of them, so there's both one and one on both sides. So like I said, I like symmetry. You may not like symmetry. Symmetry is just, you know, it makes everything look neat to me. But, you know, if you want a different boat, that's your boat. So I'm going to pick out a door. And uh, now it's a boat, so you don't want double doors. You want a nice sliding door. So it's a nice sliding door. Oh, it's not nice color. Mm. Whatever. Okay, so just put a nice little sliding door right there. And, um,. Yeah, and have lots of windows. You need lots of windows because it's a yacht, it's a boat. You want to be able to see inside the little boat. You make it look, you know, kind of cool. And yeah, so next, um, just put windows throughout and I'll make sure you put in a ladder to see if you can find something. Once you find the ladder, that's pretty much it. You know, go and customize your house the way you want it. 